Hey everyone, it's Comics Villain, and welcome to The Backstory. If you're new to the series, it's about who indie content creators are, where they came from, and what lies ahead. In this series, I have contacted each creator to get specifics on themselves to share with you today, as well as share with you their current work. Alright, let's dive in. On this episode, we'll discuss Macho Dan. Who is Macho Dan? In his own words, he says, My name is Dan. I'm the lucky father of two beautiful girls and the husband to an amazingly supportive wife. My day job is not what you would call normal. I'm a professional mountain bike rider. I spend most days on a bike. And while I am not sitting down riding, my bike is where I come up with a lot of my story ideas and where I do the bulk of my world building. It's an unusual place to think, but it works for me. And you can't help but feel inspired surrounded by mountains and nature. Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia is where I grew up, playing in the mountains and rivers that surround my home. Growing up where I did shaped my future very distinctly and had a very profound impact on my life. I still live in the town where I was born and I love it fiercely. What got Dan into comics? He says, The movie Aliens. After watching Aliens, I was hooked on sci-fi. I found out that a publisher was making Alien comics. I started going to my local comic shop and picking up single issues. It spiraled out of control after that. Alien Earth War with art by Sam Keith were some of my first comics. I think that was around 1990 to 1991. It was amazing to get new stories about the same space marines and characters I grew up to love from the Alien movies. I quickly moved from Alien comics into Marvel and DC books. Then, when Image launched in 92, I was seriously hooked. All of my extra cash and allowance went to purchasing new comics each week. It was such an exciting time in my life. Comics are the best and most effective storytelling device, better than movies, better than song, and better than the spoken and written word. My partner on Hero, Mutt, said that to me once, and it rings very true to me. Comics gave me the action and the emotion I wanted in a format I can consume anywhere. It was that way for me when I was a kid and it's just as important now. What artists or writers have inspired you? Dan says. I'm a writer first. I can't draw to save my life, but many artists have inspired me as much or more than writers. I'm a huge Mike Minola fan. His art's simple at first glance, but is incredibly difficult to pull off once you really study it. He is an amazing writer as well and has been a huge influence on me. Sam Keith has always been another writer or artist that inspires me. I love Dale Keown, Jim Lee, and Jay Lee. I get a lot of inspiration from novels as well. Joe Abercrombie, James S.A. Corey, Pete Kleins, and Pierce Brown are some of my recent favorites, but authors like Orson Scott Card, Douglas Adams, and even Stephen King have influenced me. How did Dan get started with writing? He says, I've been writing my own short stories and creating worlds for a long time now, but it's not until recently that I got serious about jumping into the indie comic scene. I'm a huge book lover. I devour anything sci-fi, fantasy, action, and adventure, Sadly, I'm terrible with grammar and punctuation. I was struggling with English. I have struggled with and still battle ADD. But I have always had a love of creating. It's one of those situations where the compulsion to create has forced me to acknowledge my shortcomings, evaluate their impact on my process, and ask for help when I get stuck. World and character building have become more and more of a passion to me, so the comic and graphic novel format was a perfect fit for me. I am a very visual person. The fast readability but rich character development you can achieve in a comic resonates with my personality. I have a number of stories ready to green light, but my passion and energy right now is directed to making Hero the best story possible. In regards to past projects, Dan says, Nothing formal and nothing I want to share. It's mostly unpublished short stories for myself. As for future projects, Dan says, Hero Volume 2 and 3 are on deck, but I also have a little black book that is reserved for ideas for future comics. 
I won a writer's contest a few weeks back that awarded me some seed money to do a two-page story. I'm working on that story unofficially titled Lunch Meat. I have a comedy horror, a teen, young, adult-style coming-of-age story, and at some point I would like to do a take on a classic superhero comic. I have no shortage of ideas, I just need to find the time to get them all on paper. Lastly, Dan's most recent project, Hero, Blood of the Patriots. It was on Indiegogo, and Dan says he's put four years and a lot of late nights into this project. It's a high-T sci-fi pro-military action adventure, pure indie comic. As of the making of this video, the campaign is currently closed and made over $6,000. That's it for this episode of The Backstory. I hope you enjoyed hearing about Dan. Let's help support our indie creators. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and help me reach that 1,000 subscriber milestone. At 1,000, we'll be doing a giveaway for a free video game of $60 value and a free bus sketch from Raven Monroe. Thank you, Raven. Also, like, share, and comment on what you thought about the video. Thank you all for watching. I will see you on the next video. Take care and have a great rest of your day.